Hey YouTube 3D Printing Life and today is going to be a tutorial on how to auto-tune your 3D printer's thermistor. Uh, this is something that you have to do with a new hot end or new thermistor. Uh, and it is definitely a, um, an advised process to take um, after you break in your new hot end after about a month because you'll probably get some different settings. Um, so first thing you're going to do is open up Repetier Host or whatever communications software you use, uh, turn on your printer and connect with it. Now this process will heat up your hot end so make sure that it is um, clear from anything that could be damaged by the heat. Now go into your g-code commands and you're going to type M303. Hit enter and on the bottom it's going to say PID auto tune start or wherever your uh, logs are. So as you can see there it is and you're going to notice the temperature of the thermistor is going to start heating up. Uh, it's going to get up to about 150 I believe so don't worry uh, if for some reason it goes above 200 or above 220 um, I would cut it off but it shouldn't go that high I don't really think there's any reason it should um, but yeah so just let that run and then we, when you are done you will be uh, left with some value so I'm just going to cut to that okay so the process is done here yes okay it's recording um, so you're going to get a few of these messages saying uh, bias and then giving you a range of temperatures that's basically it's testing results um, and then at the very bottom you're going to get an output oops sorry there we go it's going to say uh, classic PID and it's going to give you three values uh, KP, KI, and KD now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your firmware and uh, let's get this open now, under the configuration.h folder, if you're under Marlin, uh, if you're using a different firmware, I don't know exactly where they are, but it should be in the configuration somewhere, you're going to scroll down to your thermal settings or your thermistor settings, something along those lines. For Marlin, it is thermal settings. Now, quick thing to mention is if you are using a new thermistor, uh, you might have to change the temp sensor. Uh, so for the E3D V6, you have to change this to 5. Uh, default it might be something else depending on your printer or your hot end but anyway so make sure that's right um, you also want to make sure this is right before you do the auto tune I should mention and then you're going to scroll down a bit further and you should see somewhere say define default KP KI and KD and what you're just going to want to do is copy and paste those values in you can actually copy it but you can just type it in so as you can see my values are actually different than what I have here and that's because I did um, the initial um, auto-tune quite some time ago and it's been broken in so the values are actually quite significantly different so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter these in and also make sure these are uncommented uh, you might have some extra ones that are commented out with the uh, two slashes like these so you can just leave them and edit the one that is uncommented that is a a more bold color 2.78 I don't really know why I'm changing these because uh, I'm not uploading it, but whatever. So you change those, and then you can uh, save the firmware, uh, and then you can upload it using, um, well I have another tutorial on that if you'd like. But that's pretty much it, there. that's all there is to it. It's really not that hard, it's just uh, running that one command and then entering those values. So once that's all done, you can upload your firmware, you can disconnect, and um, that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope uh, this tutorial was clear and it really wasn't that complicated, but you know, regardless. Um, I will be trying to get back into the swing of things, doing more videos now that I'm settled into school, and I will also start working on the 3-up once again. Once I finish this last, last batch, which has been getting dragged out by all sorts of delays. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.